Got to make sure the logo shows. Yeah. So Chris Bukowski for Emerging Civil War. I am with Terry Rensel, part of ECW's editorial board and the new executive director of the Central Virginia Battlefield Trust. So that's why he's showing his swag there. Terry is from Erie, Pennsylvania in the northwest corner of the state, and he has never been to the small college town in south central Pennsylvania, <laughs> even though you are now how old? 50. He's gone five decades of being a Pennsylvanian without coming to Gettysburg. So today in Emerging Civil War, I'm going to take uh, Terry to Gettysburg for the first time and then later on we'll check in and get his reaction. Terry, uh, what's your anticipation for the day? Well, that's a really good question, Chris. Uh, just to try not to be overwhelmed by the scale of it and the monuments and there's reenactors happening today and so um, just really looking forward to immersing myself in all that is Gettysburg. So today for Terry, it's not going to be about emerging civil war, it's going to be about immersive civil war. Is that it? Quick check in, Terry. Uh, you're at the uh, site of the 20th Maine. Thoughts? You know, the the ground isn't as, as sloping as far away as I thought it would be. Um, the It's a beautiful monument. For some reason, I thought it might be something a little more grand, like the Vincent Monument. Oh, except for that's not a monument of Vincent. It's for the 83rd <laughs> Pennsylvania. You're your uh, hometown boys. Uh, yeah, looks a lot like the uh, statue of Strong Vincent in front of the Erie Public Library in Erie, Pennsylvania. So um, if it's not Vincent, they found a really good likeness of him. But it's been fantastic so far. Here in the Sacramento, thoughts? This is an amazing piece of art and it's an amazing presentation they put on here. I just recently read the book about the Gettysburg Foundation and the restoration of this and to see it for myself and the presentation that they put together with it is absolutely amazing and worth the time and the trip here. It's just absolutely fantastic. It's awe-inspiring. Yes, this is Terry on the phone. Maxwell, can you say hi? Hi. All right, Maxwell James. <laughs> So, uh, Terry, now that you're hanging out with Abe Lincoln, you've been to the Visitor Center, Sectorama, movie, thoughts? Uh, it's, on some level, overwhelming because there's so much to see, so much to do, and trying to cram it all in kind of a, a flying, a couple of hour tour. But uh, I look forward to coming here again and again and again because uh, there's so many levels to it. Any words of advice for Abe there? Um, duck. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so through the magic of technology, we have fast-forwarded to the end of the day. You might notice it's a little uh, drizzly overcast right now. We're standing in a drizzle with a nice breeze going. If that's affecting our sound quality, I apologize right now. Chris Bukowski, Terry Rensel. Terry has been out here experiencing Gettysburg for the first time. And uh, Terry, uh, what would you think now that we're at the end of the day? Well, Chris, uh, it, it's a bit overwhelming. I mean, like you said, doing flying tour my first time, just um, trying to get a... a full understanding of the layout of the, the battlefield and the park and all the, the monuments. It's trying to keep them all straight. Um, yeah, there'll, there'll be a quiz. He's uh, been doing notes on index cards, trying to study up. But, but um, amazing being up on top of uh, of the round tops. Which, of, which keep, keep speaking. You know, there. coming through uh, Devil's Den where we are right now. Um, Devil's Den right there. You know, being able to actually see it uh, when we stopped at the Virginia Monument <laughs> and uh, I walked on out into the field and stand there looking across the field where Pickett's Charge took place and just thinking and for a few moments I had the entire place to myself. And so that was amazing to... And, then, and there were plenty of people in the parking lot, but they don't necessarily take walk the trip out to down the field. that, that, uh, that sidewalk. And yeah, so, so thank you for, for telling me that I had to do that, because it was absolutely worth it. I had to spend a few minutes in, in quiet reflection, you know, seeing what Pickett and his men saw, you know, being where Lee was as, as the army's coming back, and um, just really having a, an opportunity to connect with the history of the moment. And uh, that was just an amazing thing. And it's been a long day. It's been a quick day. 
I look forward to our next visit here. Uh, plenty to explore to come back for. It's one of the reasons people come back to Gettysburg over and over and over because there's so much to explore, so many nooks and crannies to the place. Absolutely. And, and after seeing what I've seen here today and experiencing all this and, and talking with people, it will definitely give me some added perspective as we head back to Fredericksburg and I continue on in my second week at you know, Central Virginia Battlefields Trust and it will definitely inform the work that I do there moving forward. Now, um, did you have a favorite moment of the day today? Um, you know, but being a guy originally from Erie, Pennsylvania, seeing the the monument to the 83rd uh, Pennsylvania, the the oh, this isn't strong Vincent uh, monument. Uh, really looks a lot like the Vincent monument in Erie, Pennsylvania. That's all I'm going to say. Um, that and and standing out there in the field there at the Virginia monument, those were definitely the two you know, touchstone moments for the day for me. My favorite moment was after we finished watching the film and at the, at the end, uh, Morgan Freeman, who's the narrator, and he says that to Gettysburg was considered one of the turning points of the war. And then Terry turns to me and says, <laughs> if Morgan Freeman says that this was a turning point, I don't care what you say, Chris, Morgan Freeman, the voice of God has spoken. <laughs> and of course, that's a reference to our Turning Points of the Civil War book, part of the Engaging the Civil War series from Southern Illinois University Press, um, where we were trying to argue that Gettysburg was not the turning point, but if Morgan Freeman says it's so, it must be true, I suppose. Absolutely. So, uh, Chris Bukowski, Terry Rensel, we're here at Gettysburg, uh, just sort of exploring the battlefield through brand new eyes for the first time, and as Terry said, plenty more to see Absolutely. for future opportunities. Now, so does that mean like this is suddenly the battlefield everyone should come to, or is there a reason to still come to a Fredericksburg, a Chancellorsville, a Wilderness, a Spotsy? Y yes, absolutely. You should uh, get to you know all the battlefields. It, they are all pieces of our common history as a nation. Uh, important things that that made us the nation we are today happened here at Gettysburg, and at Fredericksburg and at Spotsy and at the Wilderness and Chancellorsville. Um, get to a battlefield near you, get to a national park near you. They are the gift that our past has led, left and led to us. Uh, and, and it's it, our job to take care of them all. And I'll say there are great, a lot of great state and local uh, county sites too, so uh, explore your history. Uh, so glad to have you with us here as we're kind of wrapping up some of our Gettysburg explorings this week. I'm Chris Mikowski, Terry Rensel. Uh, thanks for joining us here at Emerging Civil War.